Tools required for assembly of horizontal Murphy bed 700001 or vertical Murphy bed 700008. The assembly for both beds is the same. You will need a Phillips screwdriver, power drill, Robertson's bits 1 and 2, 1 8 drill bit, 3 quarter inch wrench, half inch wrench or ratchet, 2 required, stud finder, and a level. The layout. Top with lights. Top back support has four holes. Headboard rest. Front base is the smallest. Back base rest has two holes. Side gables. Open SKU number 700-001 and place the pieces facing down to install cam locks with arrows pointing out. Leave the gable and top piece face up. Screw in the vertical locking pin into pre-drill holes on gables and the top piece with lights. Note the dowel holes are bigger. With a Phillips screwdriver, attach top back support to the top piece with lights. The locking pins connect into the cam locks, then turn the cam lock a quarter turn to lock it in place. Now flip all your pieces over so the face is up. Attach side gable to the top piece with lights. Lock cams into the top piece. Note that the cam on the top back support, headrest, and back base will be locked later when the unit is standing up. Next, attach the headboard rest to the side gable followed by the back base. After that, attach the front base and lock the cam with a quarter turn. Do the same step in reverse order for the other side. Now with two people, lift up the wall bed unit and lock the remaining cams in place. Now with two people, you can move the wall bed against the wall that you wish to attach it to. Measure from the wall to the bed to ensure you leave enough room for the pier towers. Level and plumb the horizontal case. If the case is not level, the door will have gaps and not close as intended. When level, find the wall studs and mark the studs out, then pre-drill the holes accordingly. You will need two holes on each side using an eighth inch drill bit. Then use the provided three and a half inch screws to secure the top back support underneath the lights and into the studs. Then you can cover the screw heads with the veneer stickers that are provided. Now loosen the black bolts on the spring mechanism from a half inch to two inches of reveal or until unit arms are on a 60 degree angle. You can use your hand or a three quarter inch wrench. Now open SKU number 700002 from the packaging and place the bed in front of the wall unit with the bolts facing the wall. Next, assemble the folding legs with the crossbar using a small washer on a half inch screw. Use a half inch wrench to tighten on both sides. Then add one plastic washer to the leg assembly. Place leg assembly bolt into the bed frame and add one plastic washer to the bolt on the inside of the bed frame. Then add one metal washer with the large hole on the inside of the bed frame. Now add the last metal washer with a small hole. Place the nut on and use a half inch wrench to tighten it down. Do the same on the other side. The leg assembly should move freely. If not, loosen the nuts inside the bed frame. Now move to the wall side. Take off the middle bolt. It's only hand tightened. Then push the uppermost bolt out on both sides. With two people, you can lift the bed assembly on a 60 degree angle and slide the uppermost bolt into the groove of the spring mechanism's arm. Then reattach the middle bolt using a half inch wrench or socket. Make sure it's tight. Then do the same for the top bolt. Note, you can use your knee to support the bed during this process or one person can hold the bed and the other can tighten the bolts. Use a three quarter inch wrench to tighten up the spring nut on the spring mechanism so there is a half inch reveal between the arm and the spring plate. Again, use your knee as a brace. Close the door. There will be a reveal on the door gap. Push the bottom over so that all gaps are even. The gap should be even if not the door may not function properly. 
Then find the studs and pre-drill holes on the back base support and secure it to the wall. Now you can put the handles on the bed using the provided half inch screws. Now place the black spring covers on the spring mechanism. Then put your mattress on and fasten it with velcro straps tightly or your mattress will slide around. If the door doesn't stay closed after the mattress is put on, you may need to adjust the spring nut so the door stays closed. There are six sticky back wire management covers provided. Use them to run the wires from the lights to the corners and down behind the headboard. Now your wall bed unit is complete.